My latest request comes from Cheryl Busman, who wanted to know if I had any stories from the area of DuPage County, Illinois. The closest story I have is next door. Let me tell you about it. Today we're going to Cook County, Illinois to search for the outhouse treasure. In 1868, Felix and Elise Conway lived in the 1200 block of State Street, Chicago. Back then, Chicago was just a village, but it grew up over the years. Because of a previous argument, the couple refused to speak to each other. Rather than to forgive and forget, they just chose not to speak for nearly 10 years. Instead, they would communicate by notes to each other only when necessary. By the time Felix turned 60, he had amassed quite a fortune in those days as a prosperous cattle buyer and shipper. At some point in his early 60s, Felix began having pains in his stomach. He visited his doctor and was advised that he had stomach cancer and was dying. Felix left the doctor and returned home where he began to take stock of his worldly possessions. Felix discovered that he had some $250,000 in cash hidden around the property. Not wanting his wife Elise to receive the money after he died, he began looking for ideas. It was at about this time the outhouse was needing to be moved. This gave Felix an idea to keep the money away from his wife. As he dug the new hole for the outhouse, he decided to dig it an extra three feet deep. In the days following, he converted his wealth over to gold coins. In the night, Felix loaded the coins into the pit and capped them with solid concrete. Taking a turn for the worse, Felix once again visited his doctor, this time confiding in him about the gold he had buried and not wanting Elise to inherit it after he died. The doctor promised to wait until Elise's death before trying to recover the cash. Eighteen years later, Mrs. Conway was quite alive and well, but the doctor's health had begun to fail. The doctor told the story of the hidden treasure to his only son. He told his son that when Mrs. Conway passes away, to buy the property, and then he could dig up the gold. At the ripe old age of 92, Mrs. Conway passed away and was buried at the Catholic cemetery between Chicago and Evanston. The old house was later torn down to make room for progress. The son of the doctor never bought the property. It's unknown if he ever attempted to find the cash at all. It's likely still there. Perhaps a little research and an old township map might reveal some more clues. Good luck, happy hunting, keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging. For even more to explore, check out these other videos.